Hi, everybody. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we'll wait just one more minute to see um, if anybody else is joining us. And we would be able to start the webinar. All right, I think we can start. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today for this DAS and WIZ webinar. Uh, my name is Rotem Lebovich. I'm a principal product manager at DAS, and I'm handling our WIZ relationship um, in, in DAS. So what we're going to talk about today is how the combination of a tool like WIZ in combination with DAS can help security teams get proper prioritization, um, risk assessment, and um, remediation steps towards finding solutions to cloud vulnerabilities and cloud misconfigurations. So as organizations migrate their software development lifecycle from on-premises to the cloud, our tools have changed to deal with fast-paced ICD pipelines. Similarly, the tools that we use to detect application vulnerabilities or IAC misconfigurations and cloud misconfigurations um, plus other flows have evolved to keep up with the pace of the cloud. As we grow our development efforts and get even more efficient, we detect increasing number of issues. Up until now, um, cloud security, has been covered mostly by two categories. So the cloud workload protection platforms named CWPPs and cloud security posture management, the CSPMs. So today we will be talking about CSPM tool, WIZ, um, that are focused on finding infrastructure misconfigurations such as publicly accessible S3 buckets, as storage policy violations, et cetera, um, and each of the detection is useful and cost effective. Some of the uh, newer CSPM and cloud native application platforms are called CNAPs, uh, which is also one of them. And those tools have taken an extra step delivering policies that take into account multiple resources and relationship between them, which improve the security team's ability to prioritize detections. This shift in focus from detection to prioritization reflects an understanding that the end goal should be about reducing risk, um, not just pointing it out. So with the ever-changing and ever-growing attack surface in complex, fast-moving, multi-cloud environments, we need to find an efficient way to reduce the probability of a breach or exposure. So as Gartner has predicted, through, two, um, through 2025, more than 99% of cloud breaches will be actually preventable and caused by misconfiguration um, and end users' mistakes. So I want to switch to this slide that mentioned the combination of WIZ and DAS. So we want to fix our cloud security risk at the root um, and the causes and the probability that we're going to do that with WIZ and DAS just get, gets higher. So WIZ provide, as you know, a complete visibility and contacts in minutes to our the security teams and they can predictably identify, prioritize, and prevent risk to their cloud. Using WIS platform, they can see the misconfigurations um, and other cloud vulnerabilities. DAS takes that and matches WIS alerts, WIS issues, um, WIS policies to the root causes. Basically, we're helping to assign the code owners, the code committers, and, the generate, and generates remediation guidance for developers. So we can take the information from WIZ and give that enrichment and context who should the security team contact or who is the point of ownership at the development team that can help solve the issue. So this is a diagram that paints the picture of what is actually WIZ and DAS doing and how it combines together. So on the left side, 
you see that we have the cloud visibility, right? We have the visibility resource, we have the internet that we scans, and all of those resources are being prompted to the WIS platform and generates a lot of extensive data on that. On the other side, DAS is connected to the artifact side, to the code repos, back, we can say it's ship, more shift left method, and by fetching all this data together, stitching it and um, processing it, we are enabling to find ownership to point to a dedicated root cause for every single one of the issues, vulnerabilities, or misconfiguration, and help security teams find the owner and help going with the remediation steps. Um, so from a technical point of view, this combination allows you to look um, at both infrastructure graph and the deployment graph. Um, we use this to pivot between toxic combinations that Wiz finds into a root cause the DAS finds. So oftentimes this will also duplicate similar findings just because we have the capability to see the entire picture of your environment. So this is a fairly simple one. In this example, what you can see is how a Fortune 200 enterprise actually licked the fixed lock for a shell incident in just four days. Um, and what happened is that it was a joint WIS and DAS customer. Detections in this case were coming from multiple detection tools. So the environment was very noisy from signals, findings, and alerts. But we managed to consolidate and see that three, oh, more than 3,000 container alerts came from WIS. Now using DAS, they actually managed to duplicate into unique um, 144 images, golden images, and from that point we were able to attribute to the pro, uh, to the proper code owners and um, the Docker files that needs the fix. So we dramatically reduced the time that it took them to resolve those incidents. So it was a zero-day vulnerability found, and in just a matter of four days they were able to close it down and call it done. So the use of the remediation guidance to redeploy the applications made them close the incidents. So worth to mention that they had many other tools connected to DAS as well. Um, and we can actually see by doing that how we were able to um, reduce the noise from the SEA, from the SAS, from the DAS tools on the code side, match those with the CSPM and cloud side and WIS, and stitching it all together and make sure that they're resolving the issue without a lot of noise and in just four days for a zero day vulnerability. This is, this is pretty amazing. Um, so basically the flow of what's going on between our partnership is like as follows. So where is Wiz can report our critical findings, that's orchestrate the remediation. So we're fetching the, the issues, we're fetching all the data from Wiz we're sorting it out, we're matching all the pinpoints and pinpoints to all the different data points that we have in the organization. Um, and also when Windows detect vulnerable instances, we can reduce it to the exact number of affected images. Then we can suggest, suggest the fix based on those things. So we can reduce, find the code owners and suggest on the fixes, hence offer a very fast remediation steps to resolve an issues. Zero days, constant uh, um, getting um, issues, uh, vulnerabilities over time, et cetera. So this is um, our partnership with, with Wiz, and I'm super happy that you had the chance to join us and hear us today about it. Um, Alex, do you have any questions, by the way? No questions. Okay, so feel free to contact us that we can demonstrate and show you how you can leverage the WIS and DAS relationship and take your remediation steps automatically and to the next level. Thank you for joining.